How are we doing everyone? Just thought I'd do a quick video on this. The leakage in the high pressure control circuit is too high. This is on a, it says a Mercedes Actros, but it's got the 936 engine in it, the little 7.7 .7 litre. Um, a few people have come across this fault code. You get this occur as well on the Actros with the 470, the 471, the 473 engine in it, same thing. Leakage in the high pressure control circuit is too high. Um, if you go into the tests, it basically suggests, uh, well it basically tells you you need to, come on, what did it load on? Leak in high pressure control circuit, so it basically uh, gets engine up to temperature, ramps the rail pressure right up, switches the engine off. The rail pressure should hold a specific amount of pressure for so long after engine off. Don't know what the pressure is, I think it's about 50 bar. Um, but it should hold it for obviously 30 seconds a minute or however long. It shouldn't just drop from, say, 400 bar to zero at, at switch off. If it does, it knows there's a leak somewhere in the circuit. So that basically, what that does is it does a test where it runs the engine up to temperature, gets it up to pressure, and if it detects a leak, which it will, it then tells you to disconnect and inject to put a blank on the rail. It will do the test again. Then you move to cylinder two, three, four, five, six, get them all done. And at the end, it'll basically say um, which cylinder's got your leak. Now, of all the times I've ever seen this test done, it never works. It comes up inconclusive, doesn't know what to do, so I'm not even going to waste my time doing that. Check the return quantity. I've never done this, but it does say on here to only do this when requested by the hotline, which is Mercedes-Benz's technical department, so I'm not even going to bother doing that. Visual leak inspection of the high-pressure fuel circuit, so basically tilt the cab, have a look at the fuel system, see if there's a leak now. The driver's not complained of any fuel leaks, I can't smell diesel. The customer whose truck it is has also checked it over, they can't see anything. So this is going to end up being an injector. So there's, more, there's a couple of options you can do with this. Um, you can have the injectors away, have them tested, replace the ones that are leaking back too much fuel, or as I do with these 936 engines, because they're not the best for injectors anyway, is just replace the lot. Have them done, and then you can have the old six tested, repaired, and then you've got another batch ready for another vehicle if you need them. But, just to elaborate on this um, leakage in high pressure circuit, you see here it says there, number of completed test cycles, and it's at 10. That's the leakage. So if the vehicle detects a leak, and it drops to like zero bar straight away, that'll go from zero to one. And then, and this is only after the engine's up to operator temperature, then the next time it does the test, if it goes up and it leaks again, it'll go to two, and three, and four, and five. But, let's say the leak was external and you fix the leak, that would then reduce and come down. Every time it does a test and the, the pressure was right, it would knock a number off, so it would reduce down to zero again. Once it reaches 10, that's when it throws this fault code for the leakage in the high pressure circuit. So that's what you're looking at for the leakage in the high pressure circuit. If that number's on 10, that's the reason why that fault code's coming up. All I'm going to do with this vehicle now, I'm going to tilt the cab, I'll have a quick look around, make sure there is no fuel leaks, although I suspect there isn't anyway, and I'm going to replace all six injectors. Um, and then we'll program them up and that'll be that and then once this vehicle goes back out in service the next time it's run up to temperature that'll come from a 10 to a 9 next time it's run up to temperature it'll be down to an 8 and so forth and so on until it hits zero and then that's it it's done so just a bit of an update and a bit of a, a bit of an insight into high leakage in the rail circuit on a 936 engine if anybody ever comes across it it's always handy this has happened 25 times according to this I don't know if it gives me any more details in here, I've not actually looked. Um, not really, it says rail pressure was zero. To be fair, there's nothing much in there really, I'm not bothered about. It's not like I need to see freeze frame data. It's quite clearly telling us what the issue is. There's a leak. So, anyway, just thought I'd give some of you a bit of an update on that one, just so you've got a bit of something to go on if you ever have this issue. Alright, thanks.